But I want to go back earlier to, to some of the stuff you've done with Kiss because I did not know this till I read your book. So there's a Kiss album that, and many of my audience's hardcore Kiss fans would know, that came out in 1980 that was not commercially successful in America and a very pop-leaning record by Kiss standards called Unmasked. And in the book, you tell the story that, you know, the, the thing on that record is there's keyboards all over it. And those, that's you playing those keyboards uncredited. I had no idea. And you know, it's funny. Like, I knew, well, it was, it, it was amazing because I was in the lounge at the record plant. You know, talk about being in the right place at the right time. But we had the same manager. We'd already played on some demos uh, that Gene had done, which he actually released on the vault a few years ago. Um, and he just came up and he knew I played keyboards. Um, we all kind of hung out together. Like we'd run into each other at SIR. A lot of it had to do with the fact that Anton had worked with Kiss and he'd worked with Ace Freely and we had the same manager at this point. So we were kind of buds, you know, and he said, do you want to come play on a track? And at first I, I, I was kind of stunned. I looked at him like, yeah, um, now. And he opened the door. He said, yeah, now, like. Okay, so I went in there, and he played me down the track, and I sort of played along, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to learn the song. And then he stopped, and he said, uh, give us a minute. And I saw him talking to Paul and Vinnie Poncia, who was the producer. And I thought, okay, they're shaking their heads. I probably, they, they didn't like it, and it's not going to work out. And he calls me in, because I'm in the, you know, the recording in the studio, and they're in the control room. I go back in there, and he says, what are you doing the rest of the day? And I said, mm, not much. Nothing I can't change. Why? He says, well, we love what you just did, and we want you to play on the whole record. Can you stay? And then he said, but you won't get credit. You'll get paid, but we're not, we can't give you credit, just like they did with Anton. And, and it said Peter Chris, but uh, Peter Chris never played that well, and they know it. So Anton played on Dynasty, and then I couldn't wait to go back to the loft and tell him, I just played on the Kiss record. But here's the funny part. I knew because I wasn't getting credit, like, how am I going to prove this if they deny it? Well, I saved the checks they gave me. Yeah, and I saw them in the book. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> those checks for 40 goddamn years. And can you believe that? Never knowing that, well, one day you're going to write a book, and you're going to have these checks in there, you know? So it's funny. It's funny that I have this stuff. And a lot of these stories are like just funny and unbelievable. Um, and, and I know, look, because I know Kiss so well now. And, I'm, you know, we're still all friends. I mean, Gene wrote a great blurb for the book. Um, and I sent him a copy of it and everything. It, like, I know what Kiss fans are like. And I think some of them loved that direction. But I would say more of them hated it because they're not known for that. I mean, for them to do sort of middle of the road music is, is just kind of weird, you know, they're not known for that. So I accepted that. I didn't care that for me, even though I didn't get credit, everybody knew and found out what, who I was because of it, because, you know, the kiss army, they're like diehard fans. They know everything. So yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I mean, at that point, at that point, Kiss was in such a weird transitionary phase. As a as a more pop leaning record, I actually like that record very much. But it was a little different. Just the idea of Kiss coming to you and saying, "Hey, we want you to put keyboards all over a record," I would think you're thinking, "Wait a minute, is, do I have the right band here?" You know, because there's you know hardly what? any not... keyboards in Kiss records. But not only that, think about this. Okay, these guys were such misogynists sort of like chauvinist, like they were priding themselves on betting like thousands of women and keeping Polaroids of them. And, you know, so my image, my thought of, of, you know, who they were was completely disrupted when they hired me, a woman, to come in and play. I thought that was so cool. It was so forward thinking. So, you know, um, there's a lot to be said for that, you know? Mm -hmm. And and also, Gene was really good at encouraging new acts. I mean, he discovered Van Halen, right? And right. Um, he was just very supportive of Spider. Uh, he's always been supportive of, of everything. And, and, and I think he was really happy when he saw that I was becoming a famous, successful songwriter. And then Paul started coming to me for songs. I also wrote, on, wrote with Paul for his solo record. Mm -hmm. 